morning everyone it's me who else would it be so um this is gonna be a monday night vlog because i know i haven't really put out any videos last week and no swap videos and i want to thank you for the couple people that checked on me i really appreciate it um i need that <laughs> i do um so I just wanted, I told myself I was going to do a video today and I was sticking to it. We just got done recording the BarkBox video. That'll be up tomorrow. So, hey, Donna. She's like, eh, I'm over it. Okay, so, uh, I don't know. I just haven't, I've lost, I'm not okay. I, I, I am okay, but I'm not okay. And you know for a while now you all know I know I've been talking about it I'm just kind of like burnt out and last it's been a very emotional week for me last week um, it's nothing YouTube related it never is to be honest um, real life just getting to me yesterday was Father's Day and it's just a weird day for me because you know if you've been here long enough or if you done enough watching of old videos and you know I'm not a big day, fan of dad's <laughs> um, at least not mine <sighs> and then also last year this time is when my, my sister and my nephew were here so those memories keep coming up on Facebook and it's just really difficult for me and then with the puppy stuff and then this and then this and that and this and everything you just I, I I I was losing the will to even get out of bed I was still working my other job but I just didn't want to deal with people I didn't want to comment I didn't if you notice I did barely commented on videos last week barely responded to videos comments last week I just didn't have the energy to people and then another thing that's bugging me is the days are longer and I have like the opposite <laughs> of seasonal disorder no I'm just kidding um but I am not kind of like when it's sunny and bright all the time I just get super depressed um and now it doesn't get dark until like nine o'clock and it's weird because I don't like doing the squats with the Sun shining through the window and it does this whole weird thing but I need to get over that I, I need to get over that and plus I think I might be switching it up not doing squats or just doing squats like once a week and then just dancing and then maybe like uh, push-ups against my dresser which is the most solid piece of furniture in the house um, the walls inside the house are definitely not solid enough <laughs> the ones on the out outer part of the house are but the inner walls are just like my ex fell through the wall once and he wasn't a he wasn't a big guy um he was just a guy um so i know the walls aren't that great here you ain't gotta be sneaky about it take it oh miss lola here oh, 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 oh. there you go okay so anyways um so maybe against my dresser or something. I've been looking at other workouts. I've been trying to look at workouts done by people about my size. Um, because like one thing did bother me recently. Um, a person who knows me in real life said that her friend said something about my form with the squats. And the problem with that is I keep trying to figure out my form we don't I don't have a gym here there's no personal trainers and here's the issue all the videos I watch of squats are by people not my size half my size one-fourth my size but never my size so it's really hard to make sure I have the correct form if I'm not watching somebody with my body type. Because when I bend over, I got the back hump. So it looks like I'm doing it wrong, you know? Or like my belly will go over my knees because I have such a big belly. Um, 
and I guess it just bothered me that somebody I knew personally said that their friend said this and it's like I've been doing these squats this whole time and my back has never hurt because of the squats I've never had back pain because of the squats <laughs> I had back pain because of this bed well not this bed this is a new bed uh, I had back pain when we had to get rid of this bed when my back started hurting because of it I was like okay I gotta stop being a cheapskate and get a new one and that's just what I do <laughs> I will like wear I will wear something until it wears out um I will use something until it wears out and there's just you know until it's just dead I'm like oh man our mattress is gonna need replacing soon wait another year well spring just popped out I guess I definitely have no other choice now <laughs> I just I'm like that <laughs> Um, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> so I did, we got this new bed and it's a wonderful. Maybe that was part of the reason I didn't want to get out of bed because it was just so awesome. Uh, it's like sleeping on a big firm cloud. Uh, so yeah, that's just what's been up with me why I haven't been around and like I said thank you so much to those who checked on me emailed me texted me all that good stuff um like thanks for the accountability <laughs> um yeah and I just I do a lot of other stuff going on too and I just I could look I, I looked at myself and I just felt defeated I felt dead I felt like like you know, I just looked depressed I looked like I'd been run over I just felt like there was no point in anything like I just wanted to give up because just when you're a caregiver And if you're a caregiver, you know, and, and, and I imagine having kids might be the same. I don't know. Because I don't have kids. Um, but when you're a caregiver for two people who both have traumatic brain injuries and are both sick a lot, it just becomes a bit much. So, I don't know. And... I might get into it more into members only, like what's going on in my head and in real life, but like and then the thing is since like last year June, Josh has pretty much been sick. I mean he has good days and he has bad days and then you know sometimes he'll be okay-ish, but he's still sick. Um, and it seems like he's in and out of the hospital so much with this pancreas stuff. And it's really getting to me emotionally. And then just other stuff too, but it's just hard. And I know it's hard on him too. Um, and then living where we live trying to make sure he's eating the right foods you know and I have this one person who comments like really dumb stuff if he ever comments under your stuff or they actually I think I know who it is but that's okay um and their comments don't get to me I just I, I kind of like laugh and I delete them because this is my YouTube and if I want to delete some dumb comment I can and if anyone has an issue with that Oh wow! Well. Um, because I know I'll be watching the, the the reaction channels and they're like, oh, she deletes comments. And I'm like, well, why would I? Uh, why would anyone want negativity? You know? And they're like, well, it's the internet. Well, <laughs> it's still my page. It's like Facebook. I'll block. I don't block people on here really. I think I've only blocked one person. No, no, I didn't block them. Um, all these stupid comments, and it's just like, 
okay <laughs> like about all the boxes I order or something and it's like I have to order freaking healthy groceries from out of town you think I like having to order stuff from out of town because our grocery store doesn't even have okay so you yeah sorry about that you think I like the fact that we can't even get like fat free Greek yogurt here um or like every restaurant in town fried Mexican which is smothered and cheese and all that um hamburgers and steak that is what every freaking restaurant in town has and then we have a couple places that have salads but it's like you don't always want a salad and even the salads aren't that healthy but if you're eating healthy you don't always want salad you know there are other healthy things besides salad <laughs> you know like it just is crazy and then the fact that we don't really have a gym here is depressing the fact that there's no pool here for me to use it's depressing <laughs> you know and I don't like that I have to order my groceries from out of town you know if there was a place where I could get smoothies or falafels here I wouldn't need to order them from out of town it's not me wasting money it's me trying to eat better which I it, you know it's annoying anyways but I just think it's funny that they're like I see them on the other girls pages and it's just hilarious to me like okay whatever uh, and I, I shouldn't even be justifying their comments by talking about them but if anybody thinks that I'm ever trying to sell something to you just know that I'm not I'm literally like hey if you live in a food desert like me you have this option and if you want to use my code, and I know I say this, if you want to use my code, you can use my code. And if you don't, you want to use someone else's code or find a better code online, go right ahead. But now you know there's an option for you, you know? Now you know that you can get vegan meats in the middle of nowhere mailed to your house, you know? And, uh, or those revived superfood smoothies and stuff. Um... You know those are from Canada? The ingredients are in English and in French. French. Um, or French Canadian. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Uh, they're from Canada. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean like, I am never trying to sell you anything unless I say that I'm trying to sell you something. I'm just letting you know that there's an option because I have to do research. I, I don't, like, maybe once I figure out something ships here, I'll look up and see if there's a YouTube video, you know. And a while back, I would take suggestions, hey, could you try Herbalife, hey, could you try Scentsy, hey, could you try Color Street, and I would, you know, because I'm curious about new stuff, too. Um, or, hey, what does it take to sell this stuff, or whatever, and, you know. Hey, this is a sign up fee, this is this, this is this. You know, and I could give you guys a list of the, the food services I like and the ones I don't like, the ones I feel are too expensive, and it helps you guys. I think, I don't know, it might not. And I feel like it's the same as like a grocery haul or something, but I have to get my grocery shipped to us if I want stuff that's halfway decent, halfway good, um, halfway healthy. <laughs> You know, because I can't go to the store here and just get bacon. I can't get vegan bacon. I can't get low-fat cheese here. I, I can't get meatless alternatives. I can't even get low-fat cottage cheese unless we're paying like eight, nine bucks for a normal size cottage cheese. I'm not even kidding. Our store brand only it has only the high-fat ones. And then uh, I think there's a 2% Daisy, which is like six bucks. And then there's something called, starts with a K. And that one's like eight bucks. And I'm not paying eight bucks for cottage cheese when the store brand is 250. So, the store brand is 4% though. So you gotta kind of watch how much you eat. 
so I am but it's like that with everything really a moderation right <laughs> you know the other day we went and uh, we drove to Klein's Corners and uh, when I got home I just didn't want to cook and I was like there was nowhere to order food from which was kind of depressing because it's like okay I just want I don't want to have to get a salad but there's nowhere to get anything healthy I don't remember what I ended up eating I think Josh went to the store and we got like ravioli like those ones that you uh, buy in the refrigerated section and then you cook and I think I just ate that like no cheese tortellini cheese and spinach tortellini and I just had that with a little bit of uh, butter and salt and that was it and it's not healthy but it wasn't like a cheeseburger or stuff like that we can't even get stuff like that at the restaurants here there's not really pasta that often even um, Stone Ranch makes really good lasagna but they only made it once and they haven't had it again uh, they said that they're she said that they are gonna have a healthy like Buddha bowl this week so I'm gonna have to get one and do a YouTube video if she does because I promised I would I said if you guys make it I will totally do a, a review a YouTube video and I just because I really really want uh, to just be able to order something healthy once in a while and you know it probably won't do well because that's the way it is like they had mahi they used to have grilled mahi mahi tacos and uh, I wouldn't eat them like the tacos we get it to go because I don't like eating in restaurants so don't like being around people and running into people that I know and don't like and stuff like that but, and plus you know I just like to be at home and I can eat as slow as I want because I eat really slow I pick apart my food I don't eat that much like at a time at one time unless I'm medicated so you know usually I'll take a couple bites and it'll take me like half hour and then I'll get the rest to go and I feel bad because I feel like they think I don't like the food and I know that's weird. I shouldn't even care, right? I just don't want to be around people anyways. Not because I'm, I don't like them watching me. It's just because I don't like them. <laughs> but yeah, they used to have this girl Mahi Mahi taco thing. And I would take get it with lemons and have the Mahi Mahi and the rice. And probably the chips and salsa. And then give the tortillas to the dogs or use them for something else. So... But they took that off the menu because their menu is slowly evolving into everything else in town. Like, they used to have these one tacos and they were so delicious. And they weren't like all the other tacos in town. But then they switched them. And now they're like every other taco in town. She always says, you can get it. Just tell them you want to make the old way. But I don't have faith. <laughs> I don't have faith that they will be made correctly. Um... I know she'll probably check them because she our orders seem to be pretty good most of the time um you know we tip well the owner knows who we are so you know our orders tend to be pretty good most of the time so but i'm looking forward to this bowl that's all i'm saying is that's what i'm trying to say at least but i took 10 minutes to get there i don't know what's going on um Okay, and anyways, like I said, we drove to get Gizmo, now named Chance, to his new people. So they drove from the Arizona corner of New Mexico, and we drove from our Texas corner of New Mexico, and we met in Klein's Corners. And if you saw the picture on my community page, she is so in love with him. She is so happy. He is so happy. I totally, she, she sent, I see pictures like every day, and I'm just like, I wish all of them could find homes like that like okay sorry <laughs> I wish they all could find homes like that 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 like switched my mood so fast because I get discouraged with people in this town and the way they treat their animals and they're trying to inquire about the animals some of them and I'm just like 
I wouldn't give you an animal. <laughs> I wouldn't give you a bug. Um, I wouldn't even give you a bed bug. <laughs> um, but yeah. And then there's some people in town that are nice and great. And, you know, they usually already have like seven dogs. <laughs> but uh, the person who Pip is going to go to seems like it's going to be a great home. And then I talk to the vet and they're like, oh, yeah. You know, getting reference there, you know. Because if anyone knows who's a good dog owner in this town, it's going to be the vet. We only have one, really. <laughs> I, I hear there's a second one who works out of his garage or something, but I don't know why. why. Uh, otherwise, we just have the one vet. <sighs> and this is almost out of room. But Minnie Mouse, we're not fostering. She has a home. Gizmo, a.k.a. Chance, has a home. Uh, Brownie, I don't know what his new name is, has a home. And Pip has a home. Not yet, but in a few. Anyways, I'm going to go because I ran out of time. Thank you so much for watching. And I'm going to try to get myself back on track. And uh, thanks for everybody who held me accountable. And thanks for watching. If you watch this long, say hi and I'll give you a shout out. Okay, later.